Hello Helpful Programmer here and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about how to change the transparency of the whole sprite and how to change its hue or diffuse. Opening up our project let's go and learn about changing the whole transparency of a sprite. Now that it's all opened up let's go to our main.cpp file and just after the where it says db sprite let's put db set sprite alpha open parentheses and then in here we put the sprite id we want to set the alpha to or set the transparency to so one do a comma and then next we need to put the value or how much we want it transparent the top transparency so solid color is 255 and the bottom is zero so if we put zero it will turn invisible and if we put 255 it will look exactly the same so let's go halfway so let's just put roughly a hundred, close parentheses and do a semicolon and now that when we run it you'll see that the sprite is sort of faded out like a ghost. This can be used in games as like I just said as a ghost so if you have a .bmp file and it's just solid white and you want to change it to sort of semi transparent then you can use this function to change its transparency. Now let's move on to the hue of a sprite. Deleting db sprite alpha, let's go and type in db set sprite diffuse. This is another word for the hue, so the red colour would be hue 25500, and we just can use this function to set it to different hues. So if you had a sprite that was sort of a bluish colour and you wanted it to change to red or filter out the blue, then you'd set blue to zero and everything else. So in the first column we need to put the sprite, so again 1, do a comma and then in the next three columns we put the red, green and blue value. Remember going back to DB set image color key where we put 2550255 as the color pink, we can set the color here as well. To help us understand this let's go and open up paint or any other graphical editor and down where the colors are let's go to red first so double click on that and define custom colors and you'll see that the color red has in the red section is 255 in the green it's 0 and in the blue it's also 0 so we know if we want to get a red filter we'd put, going back to our project 255 in the red column comma 0 in the green column and 0 in the blue column let's go and try that so closing the parentheses and doing the semicolon let's go and run our project and now you can see he's gone completely red and any other colour so if it was completely blue and then it's been totally wiped out so only the black's left as you can see here the brown that's been half taken out so only the red's left so it's left a sort of blackish red so a dark red and then you can choose any colour so whatever colour you want you can set the filter to so Let's just randomly pick a colour to show you that it works. Um, here, this is a nice colour. 169, so opening up our project again. Put 169. You don't have to do this, I'm just showing you. Um, I'm just showing you what you can do. And 232. And 23. And now when we run it, it will filter the colours to this colour. You see it's sort of gone a greenish colour. This will work with both kinds of sprites. Static sprites, so one that's loaded up using the function db load image, and then one using the function db create animated sprite. And then when we walk, you can see that it still works according to the filter. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you have learned a lot. Bye.